So seasonality is simple, right? Everybody knows that toy manufacturer sales are likely to spike around Christmas. But what people rarely consider is the fact that seasonality actually impacts on the vast majority of human activities. Everything from traffic to electricity consumption to even death can be proven to be seasonal to some extent. For this reason, seasonality is one of the most powerful statistical patterns in a supply chain scientist arsenal, and it can be exploited to make sure that you're prepared for every eventuality. So let's have a look at some examples, starting with one of my favorite subjects, ice cream. So if we look at this graph of ice cream sales, much like in our Christmas example, we can quite obviously see that sales spike during the summer months. But how about if we zoom in on one month of that busy summer period? Now we can see that the sales are not consistent throughout the week. This could be due to fluctuations in the weather, but there are also obvious spikes in sales around the weekends. This means that as well as the time of the year, the day and the week all has an impact upon the seasonality, which we need to take into account. So the key lesson to learn here is that a product exhibits seasonality when the underlying time series undergoes a predictable cyclic variation. So what we have observed so far are both yearly and weekly seasonalities. If we zoom in even further, perhaps on the day, we can see there is a lot of variability. This is why a graph is not very smooth. And as a supply chain practitioner, this can be very confusing. This variability is known as noise and is one of the reasons why computers are better than humans at predicting the future. So what we've seen so far is that seasonality can lead to uncertainty in amplitude. That's the size of those spikes that we saw. But another complication is that seasonality can also lead to uncertainty in frequency. For example, some seasons start much earlier than others. And so as a result, that spike in sales that we saw can occur at different times, depending on a number of exterior factors. Some of these can be easy to predict. For example, the last Saturday before Christmas is normally one of the busiest shopping days of the year. But what happens if that Saturday fell on the 23rd of December? This might be a little late for some of the more nervous shoppers, which would push that big spike in sales back to the next Saturday before Christmas. Unfortunately, nobody can predict the future exactly. That's why, instead of making one prediction for your stock requirements, it's much better to hedge your bets and take a probabilistic approach. So what have we learned today? Seasonality is a repetitive cyclical trend that can be shown to have an impact on almost every part of daily life. This can impact on both the amplitude and the frequency of sales, which can get far too confusing if you try to keep track of it yourself. So by leaving the hard work to computers and by taking a probabilistic approach, you can ensure you cover all possible futures, leaving you to focus on the more important things in life, like ice cream. <laughs> so that's everything for seasonality. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.